Hello everyone and welcome to week eight, Love, Sex, and Medicine. Uh, this is our final week of Philosophy 350, Philosophies of Sex and Love, offered in summer 2020 at Finlandia University by me, Dr. Patricia Gross. I'm so happy you're with your progress this summer and are looking forward to reading your final assignments. This week is titled Love, Sex, and Medicine, and we are going out with a bang by exploring how the medical world intersects with the world of sex and love. Here are your final assignments for our course. So you're reading Failed Medicalization and the Cultural Iconography of Feminine Sexuality by Rebecca Kukla, amazing essay. Um, Being Through Love, The Collaborative Construction of a Sexual Body by Amy E. Taylor, which is pretty mind-blowing. You're reading a beautiful piece by Tamara, Con- uh, Tamara Connor, Genitales, Short Stories About Body, Sex, and Sexuality. You're completing your discussion board activities. And, of course, you're submitting at Short Essay 4. This week, as you may know, you will be summarizing the text as a group. I provided outlines here, but I must tell you I'm so looking forward to reading these two very important chapters and what you have to say about them. I wish I could have a conversation with you in person about them. The Kukla piece depicted here discusses the nature of medicalization and how the medical field has utterly failed to medicalize feminine sexuality, in large part because of the entrenched sexism of the medical community. See the diagrams at the end of the chapter that depict female pleasure as power. So I'm looking forward to seeing your own imaginations of this text. And then looking at the next text by Amy Taylor, again here I've provided the mini outline to you uh, on the Google Slides as well for your discussion board assignments this week. You'll see in this essay how the author is able to utilize theories from famous philosophers, in this case Merleau-Ponty, to revision what sexuality could be. It is important to note that Taylor is expanding upon Merleau-Ponty's theory. She's not just repeating what he says, she's expanding upon it, and she's doing something more than he ever could. I'm very much looking forward to what you have to say about the possibility of orgasming without a penis. I would also be interested in hearing you connect this essay with the common essay on faking it last week. In fact, just to say this out loud, if you would like to do that in an actual more formal way, 250 words to me by Thursday at 11.59 p.m., and you'll get a bonus assignment, or bonus, to your final paper. So, and then now, here we come to the fun part. I've included the short piece by Tamara Connor as our last mini piece for several, <laughs> several, several reasons. Perhaps the most salient is the nature of this week's subject matter, love, sex, and medicine. So let's look at the website together. This is the hyperlink, but um, this is the picture. You'll see I just borrowed the picture from the website um, that's here, right? And so in the sex, we have uh, many, many different people's versions and accounts of what it was like growing up and and having this experience with their natural bodies um, and thinking about their first understanding of their own orgasmic body. So I'm looking forward to seeing what you do with this in your discussion board activities. So part one of your discussion board has two main components. First, you and your classmates must collectively summarize both essays that you're reading this week. As this may seem like a lot of work, I've taken the liberty of providing the section headings to you. Once again, I've made it a Google Doc to help you facilitate your efforts here. Uh, second, you must personally choose one essay to discuss in your OP for part one. You OP. In your OP for part one. This OP must include a 100 word response to one of the essays that you read this week. In the same post, you must create your own Ginny tale, which may be fictional in the style of Cam- Tamara Connor. So you don't have to tell me your own business, but you can do a fictional version of it. Part two, due Thursday by 11.59 p.m. Uh, this part is to help you prepare for your short essay four. For this part of your discussion board, each of you must post a rough draft of your short essay four to the board. Then you must ask two specific questions about how you can best improve your essay. So it's a little bit different what I've had you to do before. You must then respond to at least two of your classmates' paper by Friday at 11.59 p.m. What's that about an essay? Let's look at short essay four. In this short semester, we've explored many different facets of the nature of sex and love. More specifically, we have focused on our, our attention in the following units. Unit one, what is love? Unit two, the origin of love, a Greek interlude. Unit 3 on Monsters and Masturbation, and Unit 4, Our Body of Lies. In your essay, your final essay for this course, you must write a summary of the most important concepts from each of the units of this course. You must provide a personal response to each of our philosophical readings. 
You must explain what your favorite piece of media was that we consumed together. Finally, you must answer the seemingly simple question. Now that you have completed this course, what is love to you? To answer this last question, you must make direct reference to our course materials. And just as a reminder, there's a, a more full prompt um, that you'll be sent uh, that has all the extra stuff. But if we just go here to where it's a short essay for do um, and click on it, you'll see all the extra stuff about it. The requirements, the length, the short, the self-assessment rubric and all that good stuff. Okay, so that's it. Well, everyone, we've come to the end of the last light of the term. You've been wonderful. You are wonderful. You will be wonderful. I wish you all the best as you endeavor to complete these assignments in a meaningful manner. My very best wishes go out to you and yours, and I hope to see you safely in the fall term. Goodbye for now.